hospital. I spent 10 years at the VA and participated in research studies on use of acupuncture to treat compassion fatigue, on acupuncture for PTSD, uh, for Gulf War syndrome, uh, Gulf War illness, and um, uh, for chronic pain in veterans of all conflict. And so I became fascinated with the role that developmental trauma played in making people more vulnerable to situational trauma, like car accidents, trips and falls, even serving in, in a war zone. Physiology that Chinese medicine has to offer to, um, to help these people come back, come all the way back home, come all the way back home to themselves. So I published uh, The Tao of Trauma in uh, 2019, and it's sold 15,000 copies now. Any clinician can likely see the general dysregulation that a trauma survivor will present with, but only an acupuncturist who also has the right glasses on to see through the, the correspondences of the five elements can see to where issues may be hidden and tucked away in organs, meridians, tissues, uh, emotional states, spiritual states. So we can use the five element model to find where it's hidden away and how can we restore tone? How can we bring blood and chi to these, these areas of people's bodies that can help them transform their experience that's still stuck in there? Many of these trauma survivors, in fact, especially those who experienced developmental trauma or early childhood trauma, they will have what I call complex multi-symptom illness. They'll have a lot going on. We may get hooked into, well, today I'll work with the migraine headaches and next week I'll work with a digestive disturbance. And then and the week after that, I'll attend to the autoimmune illness. And we get hooked into treating specific symptoms instead of treating their core regulation, looking at what's essential about a person, what's essential about their destiny and helping them to meet what's possible for them in this lifetime.